A Luna Moth's Life, written and illustrated by John Himmelman. This is the title page. For Gary and Carol Lemon, may our paths continue to cross as we watch, listen, learn, and spread the word. One night in late spring, a Luna Moth lays her eggs on a leaf. A week later, the luna larvae, or caterpillars, begin to hatch. Each caterpillar goes off on its own in search of food. As time goes by, the luna caterpillar changes and grows. Luckily, a hunting hornet does not see her. In early summer, the luna larva begins to change. The luna wraps herself in a leaf and glues it closed with silk. Autumn leaves cover the cocoon. It is hard to find, even for a flicker. The luna pupa spends winter wrapped in her cocoon. On a late spring morning, the cocoon begins to move. Out crawls the adult luna moth. She climbs up a branch to dry out her wings. Her wings slowly unfold in the breeze. By evening, the luna moth is ready to fly. A bright light attracts her. She flies through an open window. She rests on a wall. The luna moth senses danger, but flies the wrong way. But there is no real danger. A child sets her free. The luna moth cruises through the night sky. She lands on a tree and sends out a silent call. A male picks up her signal with his feathery antennae. After they mate, the luna lays her eggs under the midnight moon. Then she hides among the leaves until the next night. But a gust of wind blows her from the tree. A blue jay snaps at her, but only gets a piece of wing. The luna moth has plenty of wing to spare. When night returns, she flies and flies under the moon. Words you know. Antennae, singular antenna. The pair of slender sensory organs on the heads of insects and some other animals. Blue jay, a blue, white, and gray bird that is common throughout North America. Its call sounds like the word jay. Cocoon, a covering that a pupa builds around itself while it transforms into an adult insect. Flicker a large woodpecker that is common throughout North America. Larvae, singular larva, the first stage of an insect's life. Pupa, the second stage of an insect's life. Luna moth, Actius lunis. The luna moth is common in forested areas throughout the eastern United States and southeastern Canada. In the north, the caterpillars eat the leaves of white birch trees. In the south, they feed on walnuts and hickory leaves. The adult luna moth comes out of its cocoon in the late spring or early summer in the north. In the south, the moth can come out at any time of year. As a result, up to three generations of lunas can live in one year. Adults die within a week of mating. They do not have working mouth parts, so they cannot eat or drink. The name Luna means moon in Latin. The moth was named after the moon because it is active only at night.
The Luna caterpillar and pupa are active during the day. Luna moths are often attracted to bright lights. Be sure to look out for them around outdoor lights on summer evenings. About the author. John Himmelman has written or illustrated more than 40 books for children, including Ibis, A True Whale Story, Wanted, Perfect Parents, and J.J. vs. The Babysitter. His books have received honors such as Pick of the List, Book of the Month, JLG Selection, and the ABC Award. He is also a naturalist who enjoys turning over dead logs, crawling through grass, kneeling over puddles, and gazing at the sky. His greatest joy is sharing these experiences with others. John lives in Killingworth, Connecticut with his wife Betsy, who is an art teacher. They have two children, Jeff and Liz. The 